Damn it, you guys. That's really sweet of you. There are a few people out there that really just know how to describe me. Words like strong, masculine, real man's man. Those are never words they use. I'm a giant teddy bear. And I'm okay being a giant teddy bear because my wife, yeah, she's super macho. <laughs> She's a six foot two <clears throat> pound uh, PE teacher who coaches basketball. Wow, there's guys out there that strive their whole life to find like the spitting image of their mother. Uh, I landed my father. <laughs> my dad with boobs. And the greatest thing about her, I'll let that settle in, my dad. The greatest thing about my wife is we're the same size. I mean, we wear the same size pants, the same size shoes. No other person got married and doubled their wardrobe. If there's ever a fire in my house, oh, I can grab anything. It's gonna fit. <laughs> But the only problem is, she doesn't like wearing my clothes. Apparently, they're too colorful. <laughs> and it's kind of a dick thing for her to say, since she's colorblind. <laughs> but I really can't pick on her too much, because I've got no depth perception. And when she wants to play sports with me, I'm really not that good at it. I'm either going to throw the ball way the hell over there, or right here. Those are my only two options. It's either going way the hell over there, or right here. And then also in life, when I meet people, and I reach to shake their hand, and I accidentally grab a boob. <laughs> you gotta do some quick talking then. Uh, oh, still, wow, uh, uh, no lumps, uh, hey, I'm married, back off. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> yeah, and she's super competitive. When we're playing sports, like, God forbid I actually win. I won! Oh my God, I won! Great for you. Great for you. You won. Wow. Wow, what an accomplishment. I pushed out two babies. I took nothing inside my body, and I squeezed out of the smallest hole two children. I don't feel so good anymore. She looks at me, and she takes a step closer. And no matter what you do on the rest of your life, whatever you accomplish, it will never top the fact that I let you have sex with me. <laughs> And I'm not good with confrontation. My wife loves confrontation. I mean, it comes in handy if someone's getting in my face. She'll step in, defend my honor. And I figured her out. She gets in my face, I start crying. She hates that. She just doesn't understand how a man... I hear my echo. She just doesn't understand how a man can cry for absolutely no reason. And sometimes I even go for the crying hug combo. <laughs> Baby, you were about to yell at me. Oh, my wife hates hugs. She just doesn't understand how I think hugs just have this healing power. If you're upset, I'm going to hug you. And I understand now. Hugs. Hugs won't solve the problem alone. you got to give them a really tight, really long hug. That'll do the trick. But I give my wife a hard time, but she works really hard, so I gotta stay at home and raise my kids. I'm a stay-at-home dad, and I love kids, but I spend so much time with kids, I sometimes forget how to talk to adults. It's never good to go to a bartender and be, I got your nose. You get a speeding ticket. Oh, I'm not speeding, I'm Robert Kitchen. Never seems to do the trick. But I love being a dad. Being a dad is just awesome. There's so many great things I gotta do. I gotta spend all day watching cartoons. I gotta go to the park. Even though parks would be kind of tricky for dads. Because uh, half the time I'm really trying my hardest to make sure my kids are having fun and being safe. While making sure the moms don't think I'm a pedophile. <laughs> 
I see you, Chris Hansen. Some date lines to catch a predator. I see you behind that tree. Back off. Uh-oh, there's a little girl running it. She's my daughter. Come on, give me a break. Or is she? No, seriously, she's my daughter. But I think the best part about being a stay-at-home dad is the fact that I get a have a second childhood. I gotta be a kid again. I gotta watch Disney movies. I get to go to the library and listen to story time. You know what, this year? I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese to have my birthday party in Kimberly. You're invited. Thank you guys very much. I'm Robert Kitchen.